Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learn with Sahira. In this video, we are going to see the calculation of arithmetic mean in discrete series. Discrete series means ungrouped data. I am going to make two videos, part 1 and the other video or the next video is part 2. In this video, we are going to see arithmetic mean in discrete series, ungrouped data. In the second part or in the next video, we are going to see the calculation of arithmetic mean in continuous series. Sometimes in the examination, they may ask you arithmetic mean in discrete series. Sometimes they will be asking in continuous series. So if you be perfect with both of the series, you will be perfect in calculation of arithmetic mean in both of the series. Okay, easily you can do the solution and easily you can score full marks in calculation of arithmetic mean. This is really very very important video, especially for degree second semester BBA students. Okay, so from unit two, you will be definitely getting this question. Okay. So watch the video till end and if you are new to our channel learn with Saira subscribe it for more videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends too. And if you want the notes of all the subjects and languages whatever you are having in your group I will be giving you the access for all subject and languages notes which are really very easy simple and clear to understand. So if you want the notes text me on my Instagram my Instagram ID is learn with Sahira. I will be mentioning my Instagram ID link in this video description also. Okay, so without wasting much of our time, let us get started. But note payment is must for the notes, okay? So in this video, we are going to see the calculation of arithmetic mean in discrete series. Discrete series means ungrouped data. The values which you are seeing here are in discrete series. These are ungrouped. If we used to have 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 like that, then that will be coming under continuous series. So we are having two methods to calculate arithmetic mean in discrete series. One is direct method and the other one is shortcut method. Your choice, whatever you want to do in your examination, either you want to go with the direct method, you can go with the direct method. If not, if you want to leave the direct method, you want to go with the shortcut method, you can go with the shortcut method also. It is totally upon you which method you are going to choose. But according to me, it is better to go with the direct method because it is really very easy. If they ask particularly to do the problem in shortcut method, then only you go with the shortcut method. If they directly ask you to call, calculate arithmetic mean in discrete series like this, you go with the direct method. Anyways, I will be showing you both the methods, how to calculate arithmetic mean in both the methods. Okay. So first we will be seeing mean with direct method. Okay. So to calculate the mean, first we have to take the values as it is. Okay. So let us take marks. Marks are denoted by x. Yes. Then after marks, it is number of students. Number of students. It is denoted by f. So we will be taking these values as it is. However, they have given in the question, we are going to take that values. So first one is 20, 30. 40, 50, 60 and 70. Then we are having number of students as 8, 12, 20, 10, 6, 4. Okay. So now we are going to calculate fx. Here we are seeing fx. Okay. How we will be getting this fx? We need to multiply this with this. Then we are going to get fx. Okay. 20 into 8. We will be getting this fx. 30 into 12. We are going to get this fx. Okay. So let us go with the calculation. Let me take the calculator. Okay. Here is the calculator. 20 into 8. How much it is? It is 160. You write it. You write it. Then 30 into 12. It is 360. Then it is 40 into 20. It is 800. Then 50 into 10. It is 500. 
डोंट डू एनी मिस्टेक्स इन द कैलकुलेशन इफ़ यू डू द मिस्टेक्स इन द कैलकुलेशन कंप्लीट आंसर विल बी रॉन्ग ओके सो आई सजेस्ट यू टू डू द कैलकुलेशन ऑन कैलकुलेटर ओनली आई दर दे आर सिंपल और ईजी टफ वॉट एवर इट माइट बी यू डू द कैलकुलेशन ऑन द कैलकुलेटर इट सेल्फ सो दैट इट विल बी गुड सो वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड एफेक्ट्स ओके हाउ वी गॉट दिस एफेक्ट्स वेन वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग एक्स विथ एफ वी गॉट एफेक्ट्स लाइक ट्वेंटी इंटू एट थर्टी इंटू टूवेल्व फोर्टी इंटू ट्वेंटी लाइक दैट देन नाउ वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड एफेक्ट्स वॉट इज एफेक्ट्स एफेक्ट्स इज नथिंग बट total of these values whatever the values you are seeing here in the fx you have to add all those values let us add using a calculator 160 plus 360 plus 800 plus 500 plus 360 plus 280 we got 2460 2400 2460. Let us recheck it. 160, 360, 800, 500, 360, and 280. Yes, perfect. So now we are going to calculate n, or we can also say sigma f. Okay, if you want to say it as sigma f, it is okay. If you want to say it as n, that is also okay. Now you add all these values, frequency values, you will be getting n. Okay, 8 plus 12 plus 20 plus 10 plus Six plus four, so n is sixty. Let us highlight both of this with other pen so that it will be clearly visible. Okay, f x and x we find out. Now what we are going to do? We are going to substitute these values into the formula. What is the direct method formula? Direct method formula is x bar equals to f x by n. Yes or no? So we are going to substitute the Values x bar equals to f x. How much is f x? F x is two four six zero. Yes, and n. How much is n? It is sixty. Yes. Now you do the calculation. Take the calculator. Two four six zero divided by sixty. How much it is? It is forty one. You can see here. So here. Forty one is our mean. You can also write like this. Therefore, mean is forty one. We found our mean. So this was the direct method. Direct method is really very easy. But let us also see shortcut method so that it will be. easy for you if they ask you in the shortcut method okay so in the uh, shortcut method we have d okay next column will be d d is nothing but deviation okay d is nothing but deviation here in the deviation what we are going to do we are going to minus x with assumed mean a here is nothing but assumed mean mean so here what we are going to do we are going to minus x x means nothing but this this column x minus assumed mean we will be getting d values so assumed mean whatever you want to take you can take okay whatever the value you want to take you take but i suggest you to take this first value or the small value which you are having so let us take a as 20 okay a here is 20 you just assume like that so we need to minus 20 minus 20 how much it will be 20 minus 20 it is 0 then 30 minus 20 how much it will be 10 yes uh, 40 minus 20 it will be 40 50 minus 20 it will be 30 60 minus 20 it will be 40 70 minus 20 it will be 50 okay so we got d now after getting d in shortcut method we need to find fd okay fd is nothing but if you multiply f with d whatever the value you are getting that will be fd let us see 8 into 0 how much it will be it will be 0 12 into 10 It is one twenty. Twenty into 
twenty it is four hundred it is ten into thirty three hundred six into forty two forty four into fifty two hundred okay so we got our fd now what we are going to do now let us find sigma fd okay sigma fd is nothing but total of these values we will be getting sigma fd let us calculate 120 plus 400 plus 300 plus 240 plus 200 we got 1260 as sigma fd okay this is nothing but our sigma fd while we are going with the shortcut method definitely you have to get d deviation and fd fd is nothing but frequency into deviation so here we got sigma fd now let, let us, us do the calculation of shortcut method here only okay we will be doing shortcut method here only so there will be no issue of going back and coming again here so what is the formula ma here you can see what is shortcut method formula x bar equals to assumed mean plus sigma fd by n so how much so first let us take x bar equals to how much is the assumed mean a how much is a a we took as 20 right so we are going to take 20 plus what it is next is sigma fd how much is sigma fd sigma fd is 1260 by n how much is n n is 60 okay so let us do bar equals to 20 plus okay see here 1260 divided by 60 how much it is it is 21 okay so here x bar equals to 20 plus 21 how much it is it is 41 okay done mean is 41 done here with direct method also we got the same answer with shortcut method also we got the same answer so better you try to go with the direct method if this specifically asks you for shortcut method you can go with the shortcut method okay but both the answers will be same 41 and 41 you can see so if you want to just take a screenshot you can take a screenshot okay then this okay so if you are having any doubts let me know in the comment section definitely you have to watch the part 2 video also so that you will be perfect with arithmetic mean in that we are going to see continuous series okay so sometimes they may ask you discrete series or sometimes they may ask you continuous series so you have to be perfect with both of them okay so see you all in the next video and for notes you have to text me on my instagram learn with sahira like you text want notes i will be replying you okay so see you all in the next video bye bye